Um, but moving on, let's talk about something that I'm passionate about, which is the Percy Jackson series. <laughs> and it was just announced that Percy Jackson is getting a original TV show on Disney+. Plus. Now, for those of you who maybe aren't familiar with Percy Jackson, uh, there's a series of books called Percy Jackson, The Olympians. It's kind of like a Harry Potter style story, but instead of like magic and wizards, it's uh, Greek gods and demigods. And Percy Jackson is the son of Poseidon. Uh, and he's like half human, half God. And he goes on these adventures uh, that have to do with like, you know, uh, legendary quests and stuff like that. And the books are actually like really good. They're very enjoyable books. And uh, he had two movies made, both of them made by Disney. And uh, it was basically uh, the first Percy Jackson, which was the lightning thief. And then the second Percy Jackson book, which was the uh, sea of monsters. And both of those movies were so poorly done in the sense that the people making them completely gutted the books. There's like this overarching kind of like story in the books where they're uh, going to be facing off against the big bad, which is Kronos, the, the father of, of the gods. And he's he was like the mad titan. And uh, the books kind of build up to this like big epic battle between the gods and, and Kronos. And uh, the movies completely remove that from the equation. And so like it, it became like this weird hodgepodge of really bad ideas and bad acting and bad special effects. And fans of the books were immensely disappointed with the movies. And now with this TV show, Rick Riordan, the original author of the books, is heavily involved. It looks like they're going to be doing a lot of, of stuff to make up for what they did in the movies and make the show a lot closer to what the books are. And I'm really excited about it. Vader, what do you think about this? Um, listen, man, I'll, I'll be completely up, honest with you. I I know very, very little about this book, this book series. I didn't watch the show. I didn't watch, I haven't read the books. Um, I'm going to watch it because you're going to recommend it to me. And then I'm, then I'm going to have a, a, a take on it, but I don't, I don't really have a whole lot to say on it right now, man. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know I enough about it. I apologize. Cause I'm in this exact, I never saw the movies, never read the books. It's completely well, it, not it, on my radar. None of my kids did either. Like it's going to be a, a new Disney plus series. No, I, I was, I was. And, well, right yeah, yeah. I, I, I get that. Uh, it's going to be a new Disney plus series and it's going to be kind of like a Harry Potter kind of style adventure like uh, Goonies-esque kids go off and fight mythical beasts type thing with superpowers. So um, do you guys think you'll check it out when it comes out on Disney? Absolutely. Plus? No, yeah. I'll totally check it out. Um, and it, hopefully it's good. You know, like it's Netflix. No, it's Disney plus. Oh, Disney. And, and they're supposed to stick closer to the, to the book. Cause the thing was, I, I, the reason I never checked out the movie was because, or, or wasn't there a couple movies? There were two. Yeah. Um, was because like people I respect and know they were like, no, they're not like the, who had read the books and loved the books and were super excited. Like one friend in particular was super stoked for the movie and was just totally heartbroken. I was like, Don't oh, watch I, I was completely... oh, Hey, my, it might've been my mom. <laughs> I, I was completely, floored when i saw the movie at how bad of an adaptation it was and that was all chris columbus mm -hmm. who had kicked off the harry potter adaptation uh because he he directed the first harry potter movie and you know chris columbus he's a very well-known director yeah um home alone right but, Didn't he do home alone? but yeah but he uh he butchered the lightning thief and he made so many unnecessary changes that had impact later on like it was stuff that should have been in the movie that they just removed for no no good reason and, and changed. Um, I thought that that the movies were casted well. I thought I liked the casting choices. I, I thought that uh, the the design of like the monsters and stuff like that were pretty good, but it didn't capture the adventure of the books. And the books were were very well written. They're they're they kind of start off kind of like iffy because like it, it's very much a Harry Potter ripoff. But then as the as the books go along, uh, they kind of carve out their own identity. So, so these books. Because okay, I was asking for a time reference earlier, because the way I gauge a lot of this stuff, my kids, you know, I've got a 23 year old and a 13 year old in, well, four, but those are the end, you know, bookends. Um, I was on the Harry Potter train because my oldest son and I literally read every single book together. And it was kind of just because of the, when they came out and how it kind of happened. Um, but I totally, yeah, I totally missed the, 
the Percy Jackson. There's the other one that uh, Daniel Craig was in. I forget what that was, and I totally that was, missed that. That was a uh, oh, um, the, the little mini supervillain guy. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Artemis Fowl. Yeah, Fowl. yeah, I missed that train too. So, so this was this the, was the Artemis the, Fowl movie was a terrible adaptation as well. Again, yeah. done by Disney. Disney is not very good at adapting. That's these why. Books. So, are you excited about this? It sounds like we should be asking you that instead of you asking. I, I am excited because the actual author. Uh, is actually has a role in the creation of this series. And so he's probably going to keep things pretty uh, faithful to the books. At least I hope he does. Um, but uh, the uh, it's, it's kind of interesting because, uh, you, you know, eventually they start bringing in Roman mythology as a, and juxtaposing it with the Greek mythology and all this other stuff. And it's a very fer fertile kind of like storytelling ground. And I, I'd be excited to see how they go with it. But, um, you know, I, I didn't have any kids when I was reading the, these books. And so like, I just read them as an adult. And at first they're kind of like, yeah, they're, they're a little bit kiddish, but then like they get like pretty, pretty right. Good, they, pretty that's quickly. what's cool about them. If you think about it is, um, Oh my God. That's why my son and I really bonded over these because it was like the first book is so small and it is kind of like in the second in there and it's really geared more toward that that age range so it really was like um when i say we read all the books together like i we literally sat together and read like i think it was the first three like where i would he would sit with me and i'd read out loud and then after that we both just read them and would talk about them kind of like how like we i wish i could have done a podcast back you know in the in the early 2000s so i could yeah. uh, just talking to my son because it would have been cool um but but you know what i'm saying so it kind of it, it was cool how it, it it matured with kind of a certain audience that's why i think there's like they have such a rabid fan base and some of this new stuff it's not yeah. and, you know and I mean? the, the way rick riordan handles this is he takes classic greek mythology and kind of modernizes it puts it in like the present day and puts interesting kind of like you know modern twists on it and so like the creativity in these books is, is really good. And I'm excited to see them actually try to, uh, you know, make a faithful adaptation as a Disney plus series. Because right. uh, Disney plus, like the, the series on Disney plus have been better than the movies. When you oh yeah. Have they announced a showrunner for this yet? Uh, they have. Yeah. I believe it's uh, John Steinberg and Dan Schatz uh... along with Rick Riordan. So I, I don't know. I don't know who those guys are. Or what okay, their background too. is? Yeah. Okay. Well, but, I can uh, dig in. I can go into their rabbit hole deeper later. But yeah, uh, but it, it should be pretty good as long as Rick Riordan's there to keep them honest. I'm hoping it'll it'll turn out good. Apparently, my mom is. I'm asking her for some advice on that. She's like, my mom is a huge. My whole life, she's always been a huge reader. Like Isaac Asimov. Like she got me into like so much. You know, I I, I hate to keep talking about her, but. Um, Apparently, if she's got faith in it, I do too.